this is not to be a system of the haves versus the have-nots. It should not be where we have a reverse Robin Hood syndrome where you're taking from the poor to give to the rich. No, that's not the nation that we want this country to be in. In fact, people fled from a king who was wealthy and didn't care about the poor. So here we are now as a nation when the most important thing to anybody is health. Because if you don't have health, you don't have anything. I don't care whether you're black or white, whether you are, come from the east or the west or the north or the south, health. And the one thing that we have in common, everyone, is that we're human beings. And one thing that we know for sure, human beings' bodies at times break down. So yes, if you are young and healthy, and yes, if you are wealthy, then maybe this bill that they're looking at on the Senate side is for you. But if you're young and healthy today, believe me, tomorrow you won't be young, if you're lucky. And believe me, the human body gets sick. And when that happens, the question is, Will you have the ability to access the health care that you need to keep you healthy? Well, under this bill, based upon the American Medical Associations, hospitals, AARP, you can go almost to any health provider, they will tell you that no. 22 million Americans, as the CBO score showed, will lose their access to health care. And many of those in the middle, the middle class, you know, they talk about health care. We're not just talking about, we're talking about adequate health coverage. So that when you're sick, you can go to a doctor and receive the care that you need and know that you're covered. Because my Republican colleagues have forgotten where we were before the Affordable Care Act. You see, before the Affordable Care Act, more Americans were going bankrupt and trying to stay alive for health care. These are middle class, hardworking, everyday individuals who thought they had coverage, but when they were sick, they went to the doctor, and then they found out that what they thought they were covered for, they were not. And so, they had to take out loans and mortgage, remortgage and refinance their homes, give up everything that they had to try to stay healthy and alive. We don't want to go back there. Before the Affordable Care Act, we were not talking about making sure that those individuals with pre-existing diseases were covered. Yet, if you listen to my Republican colleagues, they will tell you that the Affordable Care Act is the worst thing in the world. But before the Affordable Care Act, we weren't talking about children being able to stay on their parents' health care system until they were 20. Yes, indeed. Before the Affordable Care Act, many seniors saw their coverage capped. And after a certain amount of payout, they had to come out of their pockets, of which were not deep, and either just hang in there with their families and suffer and go bankrupt. So what we're talking about now is saving the lives of individuals. And I want to thank my friend and sister from the, from the Virgin Islands for leading this with the Congressional Black Caucus. Thank you. Because the camera of history is rolling. Yes. 
and it is recording, and it will record you and the members of the Congressional Black Caucus.